I'm Pradeep Rasnath. I was appointed as a general surgeon with interest in colorectal surgery in 2002 in the Trust. I've been doing private practice since 2002 and I've been working at the One Ashford Hospital right from day one. I'm a colorectal surgeon. I do laparoscopic colorectal surgical work and I also look after benign colorectal disease as well uh, as perianal disease as well. And I, my 20% of the other practice is in general surgery. Colorectal cancer in the United Kingdom is fairly common. It's probably the third commonest after uh, breast and lung cancer. So we see them quite frequently in our practice. Symptoms are fairly non-specific and some of them are quite specific as well, mainly to the bowel symptoms. Common is when the bowel habit changes, it uh, starts becoming uh, either constipated or diarrhea. It changes the pattern for the, for the person and that lasts longer and is not improved with normal treatment. You also get rectal bleeding, which could be bright red in colour, mainly if you have rectal lesions or you could have sort of a dark blood if the bleeding is coming from higher up. Some of our patients, with around 10 to 15 percent probably, present with anemia. So these are probably the commonest sort of a symptoms. However, other symptoms like vague abdominal pain, discomfort, bloatiness, although our symptoms of other bowel conditions are also the cause for colorectal cancers. For anybody who's a suspected colorectal cancer, they have a full examination in the clinic. We take a full history. They have their abdominal examination and as well as a intimate rectal examination in clinic. This is followed by a gold standard investigation of colonoscopy, which we do here at One Ashford quite routinely, where a patients receive a bowel preparation to clear the day before, and it's a telescope which we pass inside through the tail end and uh, takes around 15 to 20 minutes for the procedure. So that's probably the gold standard. We are able to identify it, take biopsies from it, and if there are polyps, we're able to treat it as well. So this is the standard investigator to make the diagnosis. Once the diagnosis is made, then they go on to have a further test, which is a staging investigation, mainly CT scans for the chest, abdomen, pelvis, and uh, an MRI scan of the pelvis if it's a rectal cancer and that again is provided here at One Ashford Hospital. The treatment options for colorectal cancers entirely depends on the staging. If I just take rectal cancers for instance, if the rectal cancer is confined to the rectal wall, uh, hasn't spread to the surrounding structures and uh, it's to be resectable, provided the lungs and liver are clear, then they go on to have surgery. However, if the rectal cancer is deemed to be locally advanced and uh, the resection margin could be involved if we went for an operation and the liver lungs are clear, they clearly go on to have a chemotherapy and a radiotherapy to downstage the tumour before they have the operation. Similarly with colon cancer, if the colon cancer is confined to the colon, uh, there's no liver and lung metastasis, then they go on to have surgery. However, if the disease is considered to be quite advanced, then chemotherapy is probably what is considered first. It entirely depends on the stage of the disease, condition of the patient as well. Every colorectal cancer patient, once it's been diagnosed and investigated, they go through a multidisciplinary team meeting, so a management plan is made for that particular patient. The prognosis has improved quite a, uh, significantly over the last few years, probably because the role, the Association of Color Proctology has uh, brought on guidelines. We have standardized our management plan and there has been improvement in the chemotherapy. The research has shown the advantage of chemotherapy, radiotherapy, and also the surgical technique and specialization. All these factors have probably contributed to improvement in the prognosis of colorectal cancer. Obviously, if we are able to catch them early, which bowel screening has been able to do, the prognosis is much better. Like I sort of mentioned earlier on, One Ashford Hospital has been providing these facilities uh, since day one. We do colonoscopies for the diagnosis on a regular basis. We provide the staging scans uh, here at One Ashford Hospital and treatment 
for surgery, mainly keyhole surgery, the laparoscopic uh, colorectal surgery is provided here and we have done significant number of cases at One Ashford Hospital as well. All our patients in One Ashford Hospital are also discussing the multidisciplinary meeting so they are well looked after. Mm -hmm.